In a quiet neighborhood in Southeast Ohio, folk artist Talkin Quinn is training her 12-year-old apprentice, Juniper, in the art of brain tanning. They're transforming a hairy, fleshy deer skin into buckskin, a buttery soft material stronger than fabric. Instead of using toxic chemicals, they're tanning the old-fashioned way, using an unlikely ingredient, animal brains. It's slimy. <laughs> Most of the kids at school, you say brain tanning, they're like, oh my god. And you're like, no, it's just like like making buckskin. And they're like, buckskin? And like, it's just, it's just hard to explain. Brain tanning can be dirty, smelly, and exhausting, both physically and emotionally. It's heavy. It's heavy work. And there's a lot of respect and like, gratitude and even like a sense of grief sometimes, you know, for like the loss of the animals or the loss of spirit. For Talkin and Juniper, brain tanning isn't just a hobby. It's deeply meaningful to each of them for different reasons. My uncle, he called it learning the language of his grandmother because she was taken by the settlers and taught English and like forced to cut all her hair off. So he was learning what she had been forced to forget. Although they've come to the practice for different reasons, together they're reclaiming this tradition, hour by hour and hide by hide. To hear the rest of this story and more, listen to the Inside Appalachia podcast. Download or subscribe to the show wherever you get your podcasts or at wvpublic.org. This story is part of the show's Folkways Reporting Project, expanding coverage of Appalachian folk life, arts, and culture to uncover more stories of beauty in everyday life from six Appalachian states.